are going to love your new hairstyle. Part Afro, part Mohawk. I call it the Frohawk. Whoa! It's the most one-of-a-kind haircut ever. All my friends are totally gonna want one. Just stop by again when the Frohawk isn't cool anymore. Like Tuesday. Sorry, we're closed. You'll have to come back. You! But they said you were... Technology, the best class ever? My outfit is totally going to rock a school fashion show. It's like nothing anyone's ever seen. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh. oh, Abby Archer, what an awesome sewing project. Is that like a designer garbage bag? <sighs> Students, partner up. Time to practice hair and makeup for tomorrow's fashion show. Let's see, uh, some pink powder, a little uh, black brushy stuff, and what's this red thing again? Lipstick. Are you sure you know what you're doing? Sure, I'm sure. <gasps> Oh, I'm hideous! I should have known letting myself get made up by Miss Jane. First name plain. Hey, I like the way I look. You are not allowed near my perfect face until you can do makeup properly. Ladies, show her how we get things done in the page posse. Wow. I never thought I'd say this, but... With the right beauty products, you actually look normal. Um, thanks? I know. Why don't you join me and my posse for lunch? We have a reserve table in the calf. No, I couldn't. I, I shouldn't. I... Uh... Okay. Hey, has anyone seen my sister? I'm right here, Ty. <gasps> Abby? What have they done to you? Mm, do you mind? I'm trying to hang with the posse. Oh, I see. You're going undercover as a girl. Very convincing. But we've got a situation. Grossologists, proceed immediately to Studio Shishi. A hairstylist was attacked by smelly, sweaty, long and curly hair. We're on our way. Abby, what are you doing? <laughs> Watching my one chance to be popular disappear. Come on. I guess somebody didn't leave a tip. Hey, the crook took all the hair products. Not much of a gross crime, if you ask me. Who would steal a hundred bottles of conditioner? Did you call for the Department of Grossology? Huh? Oh, no, 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 not me. Nothing wrong here. Huh? Is someone threatening you? <laughs> what, like a maniacal former employee bent on revenge? Don't be silly. Well, gotta open up shop. It's born to be blonde day. Really? Hmm. Well, 
if she won't talk, maybe the evidence will. What have we here? Abby, I'm getting a really weird DNA pattern on this hair. It's over six feet long. A and it's moving. Wow. Abby? Blonde is totally Abby. my color. Now remember, bleaching dries out your hair. So go easy on the blow dryer and use lots of conditioner or you'll get split ends. <laughs> this is like so cool. All right, <laughs> who are you and what have you done with my sister? Sorry I'm late. Had a hair thing. Abby, that new color is so you. What can I say? I gotta be me. Abby, I asked you to lunch for a reason. I'm looking for a person to round out my posse. And from everything I've seen today, you could totally be that person. Me? Really? <laughs> cool. Now, before you receive your official pink page posse cap, you must first be initiated by joining us at the mall for shoe shopping. But I already have a pair of shoes. <laughs> <laughs> you are hilarious. Let's go, girlfriend. Those shoes aren't gonna buy themselves. Hair grows from tiny spaces in the skin called follicles. Each follicle packs together dead protein cells called keratin, then pushes them out to form hair. Kind of like making spaghetti. Now, compare this regular hair with the hair from the crime scene. This one's longer, smoother, and it's not just keratin. Watch what happens when I run a mild electrical current through it. Ow! Hey! Ow! This hair responds to electrical nerve impulses, like a muscle. What's your ow? Ow! Point! Ty, this is a hybrid of dead hair cells and live muscle cells. It's like no other hair on Earth. So whoever trashed that salon has some kind of living, moving hair? Sorry I'm late, guys. Had to stop by the library. <gasps> You've been hanging out with Paige again, haven't you? No. Hmm. Maybe. Grossologists! A call just came in from a professor at the University Optics Lab. It's another uh, hair attack. And, uh, oh, hey. Who let that movie star in the lab? And where's Abby? Movie star? Huh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <sighs> a hair, just like the one from the salon. This could be a clue. Hmm. Hey, half off bananas at Savo Mart. What charming little uniforms. Can't say I like the hair, though. What are you going for? The hedgehog look? Hey! Who are you? The name's Follicle! Frederick Follicle! Whoa! Ah. Eat goop, fuzzbag! <laughs> Super-powered body hair! Oh, that's nothing. Check out my armpits! The follicle disruptor! The world's most powerful laser hair remover! And it's finally all mine! Care for a free sample? <gasps> Leave her alone! me taking a little off the top and the sides and everywhere else <laughs> you you monster Sandra uh. <coughs> oh <coughs> he's <coughs> he's getting away don't worry I've got him um ow Amazing! He blasted off every single hair. I thought laser hair removal took months. Normally, yes. It's called photothermolysis. Light from the laser heats up the dark pigment in the hair follicle and burns it out. But that follicle disruptor is no ordinary laser. Somehow, it's able to zap the hair right off your head. 
Aren't you forgetting the most important thing? Like, how am I supposed to be in a fashion show with no hair? Relax. The director's got me working on a cure for baldness in my downtime. What do you make of this newspaper? Uh, why would Frederick Follicle want half-off bananas? I'll run some tests on it. Now, just apply this goo six times a day, and in six months, you'll have a full head of hair. Six months? Look, your first strand already. With this comb over, no one will know that you're completely bald. Or you could try this. I got it from the evidence locker. Ugh. It's from the time Sloppy Joe disguised himself as a schoolgirl and went door to door selling cow pies. Oh. Work it, ladies! Work it! We've got five hours till the fashion show, and my posse is gonna own that catwalk. Again, from the top. Strut, strut, strut! Hey, posse! Abby, you're late! Oh, did you step in a cow pie or something? Uh. Hey, less gawking, more catwalking. Guess what? I made sure that Rudy McCutie over there has a front row seat so he can bask in my beauty. Hey, Abby. Hey, Rudy. Oh, uh, hey, you. Odd. If I didn't know better, I'd say he noticed you more than he noticed me. Exciting news, girls. I've decided to make a last-minute change to the show. We are going to turn the fashion world on its ear by trading outfits with your makeup partners from class! <laughs> Back in business. Not quite. <gasps> Got a couple more questions for you. You again? I told you, I don't know anything. Then I guess the name Frederick Follicle wouldn't mean anything to you. Frederick who? Funny you not knowing him, seeing how he worked at your salon. <gasps> Frederick Follicle has stolen a very powerful hair removal laser. A laser that could make everyone in town bald. And since bald people don't typically need haircuts, that means you'll be out of a job unless you help us catch him. Fine. I... I knew Frederick Follicle. Back in the day, he was the world's greatest hairstylist. He was genius. A hair artist. And they took Frederick to the top of the hair world. But hairstyling is a fickle mistress. Trends change, but Frederick wouldn't change with them. Frederick's style fell out of style. He turned against the hair industry and went underground. In his quest for permanent, unchangeable hairstyles, Frederick turned to biochemistry. But something went terribly wrong. <laughs> we know how Frederick got his powers, but it still doesn't explain what he's up to with that laser. Well, this newspaper's a dead end. I've run every test I know on it. What's that? On the other side. Hmm. Satellite rocket stolen by a mysterious hairy man. A satellite, of course! Frederick hates modern hairstyles. If he puts that follicle disruptor into orbit, he can make everyone on Earth as bald as Abby. I'm picking up a large heat source outside of town. Hey, it's a rocket about to launch! Whoa. Oh. out on the madman who did this to you. We've got a rocket to stop. T minus 30 seconds to launch. First, we shut down that 
rocket. Then we shut down Frederick Follicle! That hairdresser is gonna pay for what he's done to me! I'd hate to see his ear hair. I had to ask. Eject! Eject! He's out of control, and all because he's obsessed with his haircuts being popular. Funny what trying to be cool can do to people, huh? Yeah! Just because people don't like your hair doesn't mean... Oh. You're talking about me. Bingo! Well, at least now I won't have to worry about split ends anymore. Wait a minute! That's it! We've got to get to the gag lab now! of you ever have a haircut again? Uh, well, until your hair grows back, of course. But then I'll just blast it off again! <laughs> Think again, Freddy. We're not through with you yet. Time to give you a really bad hair day. Hair day? Ha! Big deal. Don't you get it? You can only color me bad! Oh, yeah? Try a little bleach. Even better! Like they say, blondes have more fun. <laughs> Welcome to the bold side, punk! Abby, now! A blow dryer! Pathetic! I hope the warranty's still good. <laughs> what? What's happening to me? All that coloring and heat has dried out the natural oils in your hair. <laughs> You've got a bad case of trichoptilosis. AKA split ends. Dry, damaged hair won't stop me! My laser satellite will boldify you all! Looking for this? No! <laughs> My 
my hair. My beautiful, luxurious living hair. <laughs> Congratulations, Freddy. You just got a new job. Head barber at the prison for the criminally insane. You won this round, but my super-powered body hair will grow back. And when it does, Frederick Follicle will have his revenge! Ow! Whoops! Missed one. <laughs> Hey, you need a lunch, buddy? Sure. It's so nice to be myself again. Who has time for all that shopping and makeup? And look, you've grown a millimeter of stubble already. Abby, you were fabulous in the fashion show. But Miss Robertson, I was bald. Exactly. I thought the choice to shave your head was a bold rejection of current hair trends. Just the in-your-face style I was looking for. Somebody's going to be getting an A on her report card. Can you believe I actually let a bald chick in my posse? <laughs> what was I thinking? <gasps> ah! Look away from the hair! Look away! Away! <laughs> what hair? 